Hi, this is Gwen Aspen with Operation Landlord, and in this video we're going to talk about what you cannot say under the Fair Housing Act. This video is not comprehensive and it's designed solely to entice you to dive deeper into this law and learn it inside and out to protect yourself from getting sued and to protect your prospects from being discriminated against. It's also important to note that many municipalities have additional discrimination laws in place. For example, Reading and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania have laws that prohibit the discrimination based on sexual preference or income source. So it's a good idea for you to look at your local ordinances to make sure you're in compliance with those as well. It's easy to think, hey, I'm not a racist, so I don't need to worry about this. But could you see yourself saying something like, this is a safe neighborhood with great schools, it's just perfect for families, or something like, most tenants here are single young professionals just like you, you're going to love it here. If so, you could be sued under this law. Or if you said something like, I told you no dogs, I don't care if it's a seeing eye dog or not. You cannot say that, you could get served for that one too. Another common one is that a tenant comes in and says, hey, I'm new in town, can you tell me a little bit about this neighborhood? And then you say something like, well, this neighborhood has changed a lot over the years. I mean, it used to be mostly um, Italian, but now it's mostly black and Latino. Not a lot of crime, mostly made up of good, hardworking people. You cannot say that. That's a no-no. What about something like, here's a deal, man. I have an application from you and this other lady, and you guys are the same on paper, but my sister said you used to have a drug and alcohol problem a while back, and I really need someone in here that is responsible, so I think I'm gonna go with the other lady. I hope there are no hard feelings. You cannot say that because that's discrimination based on a disability. So under the Fair Housing Act, you can't discriminate against someone because they're in a specific race, a certain color, certain ethnicity. You can't discriminate based on religion or gender or national origin. You can't say you don't want kids or pregnant ladies in your unit because that falls under familial status. Okay? And you can't discriminate against disabled people. So what that means is that you're required to make reasonable accommodations for the disabled. If you're worried that you or one of your business partners might make a mistake and say the wrong thing, do yourself a favor and hire a property management company that's well versed in fair housing to do your leasing for you. Some companies will even piecemeal their services and just do the leasing for you even if you would like to do the actual management yourself. Just do not mess with Fair Housing Act. Follow the law, not only because it's good to treat everybody the same, but also because if you don't, your bank account could be cleared out if you're caught up in this legal net. The basic rule is treat everyone the same. So thank you for watching this video produced by Operation Landlord. And please see more property management informational videos at our website, www.operationlandlord.com.